Hey friends, after there was no fan edition for the Galaxy Tab S8, we are all pleasantly surprised that Samsung recently came around with two versions of the fan edition for the Tab S9. You have the choice between the 10.9 inch Tab S9 FE and the 12.4 inch Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus. The price difference between the smaller Tab S9 FE model and the regular almost same size Tab S9 in the base version with 128GB is a whopping 320 Euro. That's quite a lot, for 320 Euro I can get a new smartphone to go with my tablet. Of course, with such a price difference compromises have to be made and the most important ones from my point of view are as follows. With the FE version you get an LCD instead of OLED display which has a refresh rate of only 90 instead of 120Hz and the base version with 128GB comes with only 6GB RAM instead of 8GB. And the most striking difference from my point of view, the Tab S9 FE comes with an Exynos processor instead of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. Of course, the question is, how good is the much cheaper Galaxy Tab S9 FE in reality? The question is, for which reality? Reality looks different for everyone. If you are a gamer and want to play with the Tab S9 FE or a creator and want to edit videos and photos on the device with the S Pen, I would say the reality looks quite bleak here. If you need a device with which you can surf the web, watch Netflix and YouTube and make notes with the included S Pen, the reality is the device is perfect for you. Because although we only have an LCD instead of an OLED display, I personally don't see a very big difference. The picture is really sharp and the colors are rich. Reading, watching YouTube and Netflix is really fun here. Also, the Exynos processor performs smoothly and though it's not fast, at least it's stutter-free in everyday applications like writing emails, operating the calendar, making notes in OneNote, Samsung Notes or Notion, surfing, scanning a document, etc. If you want to operate multiple apps at the same time and have a faster switch between the apps, you can consider investing 70 euro more in the 265 gigabyte storage variant. Then you have have 8 instead of the 6 GB RAM. If you decide against it, it will remain at the 6 GB RAM, but you can also expand the device memory with a micro SD up to 1 TB. Even though nothing stutters, you do still notice the 90 Hz refresh rate, for example, when scrolling web pages. Even more if you just had a smartphone with a 120 Hz display in your hand before. Since the 10.9 inch LCD display on the Tab S9 FE only comes with an FHD plus resolution and a brightness of up to 720 20 nits, I wouldn't sit in the blazing sun at the pool to read with this device on vacation. Although you could do it without worry, as the Tab S9 FE is protected against dust and water according to IP68. You probably wouldn't see much in direct sunlight on the display, but it's not healthy to lie in the blazing sun anyway. For the lounge chair in the shade, the display brightness is completely sufficient. So Samsung has integrated an automatic sun protection in the Tab S9 FE for you. If you want to watch Netflix for hours, do it in the shade before you get too burned. That's how it is. What I like about the size of the tablet is its handiness. The Tab S9 FE is one of the smaller models that still fit in my handbag, which is important to me personally, as I also want to write notes on the go or watch YouTube. Also, on business trips, it doesn't stand out as an additional device in my bag, at least not in terms of size. However, it should be said that at 523 grams, it is 25 grams heavier than the 11-inch Tab S9, which has a similar size. So my hand cream now stays at home from now on. And so does the charger, because the 8000 mAh strong battery I easily get through a day with 10 hours of surfing and note writing. And within two hours the device is also fully charged again. As far as the cameras are concerned, I think Samsung has made a smart decision to save money and enable the cheap price. Because I wonder how many people actually use the main camera on the back of a tablet. I personally use it at most to scan a document and usually not even that. So I understand why Samsung has only installed a cute 8 megapixel camera as the main camera on the back and instead a 12 megapixel camera on the front because the front camera probably makes more sense on a tablet. I use it for video conferences or video calls with the family. And for that it's sufficient. Let's put it this way, I wouldn't record a YouTube video with it. 
but and here's the thing i find it amazing for the price that the materials used are so high quality and that the device does not visually differ from the tab as none and its kind also that the s pen is included in the package you have to let that sink in because with the competition you pay another 149 bucks for it. Overall, I'm extremely satisfied with the whole Samsung ecosystem. Everything runs smoothly and the devices synchronize excellently. The Galaxy Buds switch seamlessly between the tablet and the smartphone. I can answer calls via the tablet. I send back and forth documents and photos between the devices with quick share, which is comparable to AirDrop. The Tab S9 FE fits very well into this ecosystem. If I summarize it now, for a base price of 529 euro, I get a beautiful, high quality looking tablet that initially doesn't knock anyone's socks off with the specs on paper, but in the actual use in everyday life doesn't miss anything in principle. I would claim that 80% of users will be completely satisfied with what the tablet has to offer and that the 320 euro more expensive Tab S9 is not necessary for most. However, I think it's important to know that the Tab S9 FE is particularly worthwhile if you also use the S Pen. Because just for surfing or watching videos, the Tab A8, which is already available in the base version at Samsung from 189 euro, is probably enough, but then you would have to do without the S Pen, as I said. I don't know about you, but I personally couldn't do without it on my tablet. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Galaxy Tab S9 FE. If so, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel. Friends, thank you so much for watching. Bye and see you next time. Mwah.